Hey guys, I am Kenny. Today, I want to talk to you about a really interesting piece of literature called Peach Blossom Spring. Have you ever heard of it? It's a classic Chinese story that tells the tale of a fisherman who stumbles upon a hidden utopia where the people live in harmony and peace with nature. Now, I know what you're thinking. Sounds like a fairy tale, right? But the story of Peach Blossom Spring is so much more than that. It's a powerful commentary on the human condition, and it raises some really interesting questions about the nature of happiness, freedom, and society. Are you ready? Let's go. The Peach Blossom Spring, as known as Peach Blossom Spring Story, is a Chinese literary work written by Tao Qin, also known as Tao Yuanming, during the Eastern Jin Dynasty. It tells the story of a fisherman who discovers a hidden utopia called Peach Blossom Spring, where people live in peace and harmony with nature. The fisherman returns to his hometown to report his discovery, but is unable to find the way back to Peach Blossom Spring. The story has since become a symbol of an ideal society, and has been widely read and studied in Chinese literature. Let me first tell you the story recorded in Peach Blossom Spring. During the Taiyuan era of the Eastern Jin Dynasty in China, there was a fisherman in the Wu Ling Commandery. One day, while rowing his boat along the stream, he forgot how far he had gone. Suddenly, he came across a peach blossom forest that stretched for several hundred steps along both banks of the stream, with no other trees growing in between. The flowers and grass were fresh and beautiful, and petals were falling to the ground. The fisherman was amazed by this beautiful sight and continued rowing his boat, hoping to reach the end of the forest. At the end, he found the source of the stream, where a mountain stood with a small cave at the top, from which light seemed to be emanating. The fisherman then got off his boat and entered the cave. At first, the cave was narrow and could only fit one person at a time. After walking for dozens of steps, it suddenly opened up into a wide and bright area. The fisherman saw a vast expanse of flat land, neat houses, fertile fields, beautiful ponds, and crops such as mulberry trees and bamboo forests. Small paths crisscrossed the fields, and the sounds of roosters and dogs could be heard everywhere. People were working in the fields, dressed just like people outside of Peach Blossom Spring. The elderly and children seemed happy and content. When the villagers saw the fisherman, they were surprised and asked him where he came from. The fisherman answered in detail, and the villagers invited him to their homes, where they treated him to food and drink. Other villagers heard about the stranger and came to inquire about him. They said that their ancestors, in order to escape the wars during the Qin Dynasty, led their wives, children, and neighbors to this secluded place and never left, thus cutting off contact with the outside world. They asked the fisherman which dynasty it was now, and he was surprised to find out that they knew nothing about the Han Dynasty, let alone the Wai and Jin Dynasties. The fisherman told them everything he knew, and they were amazed and saddened. The other villagers also invited the fisherman to their homes and treated him to food and drink. The fisherman stayed for a few days and then said goodbye to the villagers. They said, our place is not worth talking about to people outside. After leaving the village, the fisherman found his boat and marked his path back. When he arrived in the commandery, he visited the local officials and reported his experience. The officials immediately sent people to follow him, but the fisherman got lost while trying to find the path using his previous markings. A noble-minded hermit from Nanyang was excited to hear about this and planned to go there himself, but he passed away due to illness before he could do so. After that, no one ever inquired about how to get to Peach Blossom Spring again. It's a tale of a fisherman from Wuling who stumbled upon a hidden utopia called Peach Blossom Spring, where the people live in peace and harmony with nature. He returned to his hometown to report his discovery, but he couldn't find the way back. The story is full of twists and turns, but it paints a picture of an ideal society where there is no exploitation, everyone is self-sufficient, and people live in peace and happiness. It's an idyllic world that the author, Tao Yuanming, and many people of his time longed for as they were dissatisfied with the corrupt society they lived in. In the story, the villagers of Peach Blossom Spring live a simple and tranquil life inside a mountain cave. It's a stark contrast to the war-torn world outside. Through the story, Tao Yuanming shows his readers what a peaceful society could look like, and he gives them hope that such a place could exist. But, in reality, Tao Yuanming knew that society was far from perfect, and he chose to retreat from it altogether, living a simple life of farming.
the author thinks that Peach Blossom Spring is a utopia that exists only in people's imaginations. The story is written from the perspective of a novelist, and it begins with the introduction of the protagonist, a fisherman. He's just an ordinary fisherman, living his life day by day without any particular ambition. One day, while fishing, he enters a place full of peach blossoms. This is where the author sets the scene for the idyllic world he's about to describe. The fisherman wants to find the source of the peach blossoms, and he eventually discovers a cave. This is where the author wants to explore the root of the beautiful world he's created. The fisherman's journey to find the source of the peach blossoms can be seen as a metaphor for the human pursuit of happiness and the desire to understand the mysteries of life. The story of Peach Blossom Spring is a reflection of people's yearning for a better world. It's a world free of war, hunger, and misery where everyone lives in harmony with nature. But the catch is that this world is a fantasy. It doesn't really exist in the real world. The story is a reminder that sometimes we need to create our own utopias within our minds. It's a way to escape the harsh reality of life and imagine a better future. As the story goes on, the villagers of Peach Blossom Spring advise the fishermen not to reveal the location of their utopia. However, the fisherman ignores their advice and reports his discovery to the local official. They send a team to search for Peach Blossom Spring, but they can't find it. The story takes a tragic turn with the introduction of a new character, the noble hermit, who sets out to find Peach Blossom Spring, but dies of illness before he can reach it. No one searched for Peach Blossom Spring afterwards. This is the author's way of telling us that the ideal world of Peach Blossom Spring is nothing more than a dream, and that humanity can never achieve such a society. The story's tragic ending is a reminder that the world is far from perfect, and that the pursuit of an ideal society may be futile. It's a call to accept the world's flaws and inequalities rather than to keep searching for an unattainable utopia. The story shows us that there's a limit to what we can achieve, and that sometimes we need to accept reality and find ways to make the best of it. But don't let the story's ending discourage you. Remember that the journey to a better world is still worth pursuing. Even if we can't build a perfect society, we can still make small changes that make the world a better place. So, let's not give up on our dreams of a better world, and let's keep striving to make a positive impact in our own little ways. Who knows, maybe one day we'll find our own Peach Blossom Spring. In addition to the previous points, I have some other thoughts about the story of Peach Blossom Spring. Did you notice that the villagers of Peach Blossom Spring warned the fish fishermen not to reveal the secret of their utopia to outsiders. But the fishermen went ahead and told the local officials anyway. This raises an interesting question about the ethics of the fishermen's actions. The villagers of Peach Blossom Spring had grown accustomed to a life free from exploitation, government regulations, and taxes. They were self-sufficient and happy with their way of life. They didn't want outsiders to interfere with their peaceful existence. However, the fishermen betrayed their trust by revealing their secret to the government. His actions were not admirable. This raises an important ethical question about the balance between individual freedom and the greater good of society. Should the fishermen have respected the villagers' wishes and kept their secret to himself? Or was it his duty to report his discovery to the government, even if it meant disrupting the villagers' way of life? The biggest takeaway I got from Peach Blossom Spring is that we were also able to experience happiness without the burden of material possessions or social pressure as children. We didn't have to worry about earning money or going to court to settle disputes with friends. We spent our days playing and having fun without a care in the world. The story of Peach Blossom Spring reminds us that this kind of simple, uncomplicated life is the key to happiness. The story of Peach Blossom Spring has inspired me to reflect on what truly makes us happy. It's not money, possessions, or status. It's the simple things in life, like spending time with loved ones, enjoying nature, or pursuing our passions. These are the things that bring us true joy and fulfillment. The so-called ideal society for humanity is actually a life free from material concerns, and this kind of life is something we have already experienced in our early years. However, we didn't pay attention to it nor cherish it at that time. So, next time you're feeling stressed or overwhelmed by the pressures of modern life, take a moment to reflect on the story of Peach Blossom Spring. Remember that happiness doesn't have to come from material possessions or social status. It comes from within, from the simple pleasures of life that we often overlook. In conclusion, the story of Peach Blossom Spring reminds us that our ideal society is one that prioritizes human happiness over material wealth.
or social status. It's a call to embrace a simpler, more sustainable way of life that brings us true joy and fulfillment. So, let's take a step back from the chaos of modern life and rediscover the simple pleasures that make life worth living. But enough about me, what do you guys think about Peach Blossom Spring? Have you read it before? What are your thoughts on the story? Let me know in the comments below. Welcome to subscribe to my YouTube channel for more of my commentary on Chinese history, culture, and works of cultural relics. What content would you like to hear? I may be able to create it for you. Feel free to leave a comment and let me know. Thank you.